that we have, majors are impacted, teachers are losing jobs, and that's a very direct way that's affecting all the students here at the school. Um, not my life. I think it's affecting the world. It's definitely growing worldwide. I uh, also think that I don't believe in uh, industrializing all these third world countries. I'd rather keep them just sustained the way they are. Just too many resources being sucked up. No. <laughs> Not currently, no. I don't think directly, but I think in some ways, yeah. Okay. Given population? No, I'm not feeling too squeezed right yet. I'm alright. How oh, yeah, when you're driving, what the hell? You can't even move. Um, I believe so. Not only because, like, for environmental resources only, because, like, oil is running out and stuff, and, like, people, like, overpopulation is taking away those resources from me. Yeah, I think that three years from now, they're not going to have as good of teachers because the ones that are coming in had a lack of you know, quality education, good teachers are losing jobs, so I think it definitely has an effect on future generations. Not as much in our country, but again in other countries, I think it affects people every day. So yes, if we can get around that one the main resource. That's the main one we have to worry about, is water resources. Once that's dealt with in you know, decolonization technology or direct synthesis by a fuel cell production, we might have a shot at that. We're going to run into water issues far before we run into living expenses or, or food issues. Being an economics major, uh, labor is a good thing, population, you know. Japan, Central, and now their birth rates are real low. It's one of the big factors in uh, production. Uh, I guess there might be, be, come a time when you got to control that too, like they do in China. Possibly. I don't know. I've driven through western Kansas a lot. There seems to be a lot of space out there. So, uh, no, man, I, I don't know. I guess I haven't given it a whole lot of thought, but I, I suppose that it could be an issue with food and energy sources and all those kind of things. Just different resources, not having enough to feed or um, care for the people in the world. So, possibly, I guess. But I think that's been an issue forever. I don't really think uh, overpopulation. I mean, we always take care of it. I mean, things are happening, but. I don't think it's going to play that big of a role in the end. It's going to get taken care of, you know what I'm saying? It's going to just go with it. Sort of yes, I think we are, like any other animal species, we're, we're, we're doing some detriment to our planet in certain areas of our globe. So I guess to a certain extent, yeah, we are going to eat up our resources and be in a really bad way. Uh, I think it will, just um, in terms of scarcity of resources, which causes conflict um, around the world, um, water, especially you know, here yeah. on, the, on the western part of the United States. If we're running out of these resources like food and water and oil and stuff, like the future generation coming behind us is going to lack all the important needs that we have today.